it was the first battle uh, in Virginia. It was one of the battles that actually sparked the Revolutionary War. It was the one where the, the Americans said, hey, we actually think we can win this, we can win this war. And uh, so it's a it's, um, little, little, little known history um, that people, well, a lot of people don't really know the whole full, full spectrum of other things that happened and how Hampton was so pivotal in, in kicking off the Revolutionary War, which won us our independence. It was a battle between militiamen on the shoreline armed with muskets firing at British sailors and marines aboard their ships. Since these ships had very low gunnels or sides, they were exposed. They were almost standing in the wide open. Very easily these militiamen were able to shoot the British, British sailors and soldiers off their decks. The British soon had enough of this. They turned and they sailed out of the Hampton River, ending the Battle of Hampton. We have a, a land-sea battle that kind of kicks everything off, and then that moves to a, a land battle, and then there's walking tours as well, so people can kind of get um, the history and the heritage, not only of the event itself, but um, some of downtown Hampton. So there's also vendors out here. We have an educational area, um, so there's, there's a lot to do. We're, we're looking for an event, really, that's in October, another major event, and we've been so successful with the uh, Hampton Blackbeard Festival as a, as a reenactment type event and uh, we thought this was a perfect fit. A lot of people don't know the history uh, behind, um, especially the Revolutionary War and the ties to Hampton. And this kind of brings that to the surface, but also um, is a family fun event and feel where people can come out and, uh, and, and see some, some reenactors, and especially the Revolutionary War, which, which seems a little, bit, you know, a little bit more unique than something like the Civil War reenactments. We're trying to give people, first of all, in the simplest, the simplest explanation, we're trying to give the people who live in this area a sense of their history, the fact that important things happened here 250 years ago, that this, this was really the first pitched battle in Virginia in the Revolutionary War. It's a good time. It's oh, supposed to be fun. We have great fun. Oh yes, and for the children especially, it, it's a great opportunity to share with them things they may look in a book and not know what it is, but to walk up and actually touch and feel and see uh, all the people that are here doing this. The cooking, the tents, the people are really into this. I have an ancestor, yeah. I mean, I'm part of the NSDAR, the National Society of the Daughters of the American Revolution, so it means a lot to me anytime you see anything that is part of the history you know, that helped found the United States of what it is today. I think it's very important. It, it, it'd be nice if more kids could see these type of events because then it bring, brings it to life. You understand what's, what they're trying to teach you in American history. We're hoping people will learn. We're hoping people will learn about the Revolutionary War and the fact that Massachusetts played a very important part of it. They certainly did, but Virginia did too. The great leaders for the Revolution come from Virginia, Thomas Jefferson, George Washington, and, and many others. But also in the fighting, the fact that this Battle of Hampton was an early battle that brought people uh, in, in armed contact with the mightiest force in the world. The Battle of Hampton has incredible importance and should always be remembered.